Hi, I'm Schmeagle, and we just watched The Hobbit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corey. What's up? <laughs> uh, I actually, I liked it, but it was really, really long. I mean, that's what everyone's going to say when they watch this movie. Yeah, it's just like, if you liked all of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, this movie does not change the format whatsoever. Like, you're just in for a long ride. And it's, a, it's an entertaining ride. It's a fun ride. It's, it's long. It looks beautiful. It's just very, very long. And there's probably a lot of scenes that go on a little bit too long, like in the beginning when they're having the party. The, the party, like I think the party was maybe a half hour to forty five minutes. Yeah, it was way too long. Like really obviously long. in the book, like it did take up a couple of chapters. I remember reading the book. I remember mm -hmm. even in reading in the book, like this is a long engagement. But you can forgive it because you can read past it, or you know, it just seems natural to read for that long, for the, for that, you know, showing that, that passage of time. But in a movie, yeah, everyone's like looking at their watch, like, okay, when are we going to get on the adventure here? There's, there's an unexpected journey. Where's the journey? <laughs> You're wondering when the journey's getting started. Um, what was your favorite part? Probably the scene, you know, oddly enough, I love the, um, goblin fight scene. That was fun. Which one? Remind that was the me. goblin, like the king goblin guy, and he had all his goblin. In minions. the end. Yeah, I mean it was close to the end. It wasn't yeah. the last. It wasn't the last battle, mm -hmm. but it was his second to last battle. It was just a really fun battle, and like you know, it it built up a lot of tension, like cutting back and forth between Gollum and Bilbo, and finding the ring, and then you cut back to the you know the battle, and you're like, oh man, you know this is getting good, and then like there's that funny line where the Gollum, uh, that sorry the Goblin King gets cut down and goes, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I did think there were a lot of funny parts in the yeah. script. And I loved everything with Gollum, Schmeagle. He's, like, my favorite, clearly. Schmeagle. I, I really like him. I like him. I like the hobbits. I like the hobbits. I like the I like the brushes. The brushes. Okay. Um... And yeah. I also liked <laughs> when um, they were singing at the party. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, song, the song, the song, the main song is really good. Mm -hmm. I hope that gets nominated for an yeah. award. That was a really good song. I really liked that. And I also liked where when they were with the, the woman elf mm -hmm. um, up on that, like, high part. It yeah. was so pretty. Yeah, it was nice scenery. I don't know what it was called, but it was when, like, they were meeting... Um, with her, and she was oh, like, if yeah. you ever need The name me. escapes me. It's like, oh, I forgot, Rodin or something. I don't know. I forgot. I, I don't know. Hobbit and I also were, liked, were but the scenery was just beautiful, and I was like, I wish that was my bedroom. Riverdale, just like, River something. Yeah, it was well, Riverdale. And well, it was I don't know if it was Riverdale. Oh, I, I think know. it was. People will know. Um, know what I'm talking about. And then there was something else that I really, really liked. Oh, the guy, like, Rapture, whatever, he had, like, the rabbits pulling Oh, him. Radagast, yeah. Yes. That was awesome. I liked him a lot. Yeah, Radagast the Brown, yeah. That was a good... I liked how they focused on him a lot, because I remember in the book, like, they sort of talked about Yeah, him, no, they didn't get him that much time. And they didn't... Yeah, and then in the movie, you get to get an idea how kooky he is and crazy, but he's a likable character. He's really likable. He's funny. So what's the message of this movie? Uh, that... <laughs> You can overcome anything. Doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. You should never doubt, even the smallest and weakest of us. I feel like a lot of people just don't explore their capabilities, and they don't know what they're capable of. Yeah. So, unexpected, quite unexpected. Go on some unexpected journeys and find out. <laughs> out of five stars, what do you give it? I uh, give it a, hmm, give it a three. Solid three. I'd give it a three too. All right, you can find me at Cinematic Escape on Twitter, or you can Google my blog, Cinematic Escape. At Corey Trench on Twitter. All right, guys, thanks. Yeah.